Welcome, modern day mystics, fellow truth seekers, James and Justin, back at it again. And in this reaction video, we're going to take a look at the new trailer for Oppenheimer. I think this has to do with uh, the invention of the atom bomb. Yep. Or, yep. you know, which you know, has led to like nuclear bombs and stuff like that. And I think a movie like this, this comes at like a perfect time. I think we need to be reminded of. Of this right it's now. It's a little too on the nose. Wait, what studio got yeah. put this out? Like, <laughs> I think it's good. I the NWA, uh, whatever is the, the New World Order. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Man. So anyway, uh, let's let's jump into this trailer and then we'll pull out of it and analyze it and all that jazz. This is a national emergency. Detonator charged. Christopher Nolan. What did Christopher Nolan do? Didn't he do the Batmans? Oh, the new Batman movies? I don't know. I don't know. But I like this actor here. Yeah, and he was in one of the Batman. He was in some of the Batmans. We're in a race against the Nazis. And I know what it means. If the Nazis have a bomb. We have a 12-month head start. 18. How could you possibly know that? We've got one hope. All America's industrial might and scientific innovation connected here. Secret laboratory. Keep everyone there until it's done. What an interesting story, you know, and what an interesting time. I love these kind of like period films yeah. where we go back and you, you know, who knows how much of it's like authentic and true and if it was done exactly like this, but I still, I love it. I like these. It movies. looks cool. They got me hook, line, and sinker. I'm interested. Yeah, Matt Damon here now too, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Go recruit some scientists. Build a town, build it fast. If we don't let scientists bring their families, we'll never get the best. Why would we go to the middle of nowhere for who knows how long? Why? Why? How about because this is the most important thing to ever happen in the history of the world? You're the great improviser. Einstein. This, you can't do in your head. Are we saying there's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world? Chances are near zero. Near zero. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Imagine creating something like this and then being like, we might blow up the entire earth. We don't even know. Well, you can't hold everything in your head all at once, but sometimes you forget that this shit exists and how it went down. And that's why these movies are cool. You're oh, like, yeah. oh, yeah, fuck, we split atoms in half. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's. Oh, my God. It looks cool as shit. And by the way, I'm pretty sure Oppenheimer uh, was quote, quoted the Bhagavad Gita, just to keep it spiritual here. Yeah. He quoted the Bhagavad Gita after he detonated the first nuke, first nuke or something. And he said that line about, I have become destroyer of worlds. Oh, jeez. Or whatever. Wow. I can't remember what the exact quote is. If, if anybody knows it, throw it in there. What do you want from theory alone? Zero would be nice. This is a matter of life and death. But I can perform this miracle. World War II would be over. Our boys would come home. That's happening, isn't it? The world will remember this day. Our work here will ensure a peace mankind has never seen. Until somebody builds a bigger one. You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. And the world is not prepared. Truman needs to know what's next. Two, 
What's next? Why? Was that Robert Downey Jr.? Wow, so that movie really taps into the serious nature of th that invention of the, the atom bomb. And I'm pretty sure and that was Robert Downey Jr. right at the end. That's crazy. I, I totally think, that I think that was him. But uh, it looks super fascinating. And I, I was listening to a Joe Rogan podcast not too long ago, and I think he had Brett Weinstein on. And he was saying, I think we need to like deton detonate another one to just remind everyone about how ridiculously powerful these are because he's like, we have forgotten. And it was like all this talk about Russia and the United States and dropping nukes and tactical nukes. It was like, these people have no idea what they're talking about. Right. It was like, if you, if you could see just one little blast, you would, you would in horror retreat into like that should never ever be dropped ever the we all we have is the old sketchy footage is you know like yeah. sometimes they'll show houses like being blown apart like tissue paper yeah but it doesn't suffice you're right there's something to getting realizing seeing a force like that in real life is very different than any conceptualization oh, yeah. any reenactment any footage even S experiencing it people will be like have you ever seen a burning building or something? Like, you yeah. know, have you ever seen like a cataclysm? It's, it's, it can be awe striking, right? Yeah. And maybe he's right. Maybe seeing something like that, people will be like, it'll, it like, it might bring world peace. Everyone might be like, okay, we gotta shut this down now. Whatever's Serious. going on in Ukraine yeah. doesn't even matter compared to like what the hell yeah. this would mean if we dropped one. And the, and this is done after like, like during World War II. Yeah. Imagine what they have now. Right. Imagine what they have now. It probably you could probably take out an entire continent with one of these things. Like who knows? People right. don't even know because they haven't even been dropped. Right. It's like it would be like <laughs> horrifying to, yeah. to to know. The exact quote that he said was, uh, "Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds." Crazy, right? Wow. Well, everyone. Let us know what you think about uh, this movie and if you have any interesting insights you want to share with us about the atom bomb or atom bomb or nuclear bombs or anything we said here. We'd love to hear from you. And if you like this episode, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share with a friend and everybody. Until next time, stay spiritual. spiritual.